and you can actually kind of see it. Check out this shot right now here, looking at our Connecticut River camera in Haddam Neck. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see it when I get here. Here it is. You can kind of see it poking its way through the clouds, and that was enough to allow us to warm up today. But uh, those clouds are going to continue to lower and thicken up as that rain develops. Right now, 59 degrees. Again, the average high for this time of year is closer to 50. So we're still doing all right here in March. 62 right now in Hartford, mid-60s for Windsor Locks, but only close to the 50-degree mark in the Groton, New London area. Temperatures are way too warm to bring us anything but rain as this precipitation moves in. Again, you know that we can get all kinds of stuff to fall from the sky this time of year, but again, it's just going to be rain, and you can see quite a bit of it here to the southwest of us, but I do think the heaviest and most rainfall totals are going to be to our south and west. Still, we'll get a little bit of rain, enough that will wet the ground in a lot of locations. We're still dry for most of the state. We're going to see this slowly continue to spread northeast as we head throughout the course of the next several hours or so. Low temperatures tonight dropping, not dropping very much, only around the 50 degree mark with rain heading through the day tomorrow. This is when things get weird. The rain is long gone by the time you wake up tomorrow, but it will be kind of a murky and misty start to the day, and I feel like some of you will go, okay, where is the warm up? Some of you may have to wait until the afternoon before those temperatures really start to rise, but yes, 70s in the forecast. So future radar here showing as we head towards 8 o'clock tonight, that rain continues to work east by 9, 10 o'clock. It's raining just about everywhere for the news at 11, even some pockets where you get some heavier downpours. But this is 5 a.m., maybe a leftover sprinkle. Here are those low clouds, maybe some fogs, some mistiness. This is 930. But as we head towards the midday, we'll see that sunshine come out, and that's when temperatures will really start to rise, especially away from the Connecticut shoreline. 75 for a high in Hartford, 72 for Meriden and Waterbury and low to mid 60s for the Connecticut shoreline. Another round of rain is likely heading into uh, Friday, I should say. But we're not expecting a whole lot of measurable rain, just a couple scattered showers here and there through the day. Heading into the afternoon, later in the day especially, we might be able to clear things out. Now, this computer model has us clearing out at sunset, so that wouldn't really help us too, too much. But if it can happen a couple hours earlier, we may again see another day in the 70s. So it's a close call. Either way, I would keep the umbrella handy for Friday, even though it won't be a washout. We'll also see some gusty winds, which will help us dry out heading into the weekend. Your pick of the weekend, I mean, you could tell just by looking at the seven day forecast. It's gonna be Saturday, highs in the low 60s with mostly sunny skies, showers on Sunday with highs in the 50s. We're dry Monday, Tuesday, but notice cooler temperatures temperatures here to start off the week. Another chance for showers by the middle of next week. So it's good. You know, we've got temperatures generally above average, but a few chances for rain in here to kind of keep that fire risk a little bit lower than it has been the last couple of weeks, guys. All right, Rachel, thank you very much. Now for a check on the roads. Rachel Lutzker is here.